Did you really end up going to the hospital? A drama queen. Wait, are you serious right now? Of course I am. She's my mother, you know. A fight between women isn't something I need to be super worried about. You say that, but she cut my mouth and there's a lot of blood. You don't suddenly punch people like that. We only came to visit her, and yet this is what happened. I told you, my mom is a bit possessive of me. She might say some foul things. I would have much preferred words than her fists. Your mother punched me. That's not the actions of a person who is a bit possessive. Yeah, that was pretty unexpected. <laughs> uh, though, can you blame her? News like marriage will put someone like her in shock. I'm sure she was just testing to see if you're a woman who can handle that. You cannot be serious right now. She wasn't testing me. She's just plain crazy. Yet, while I was getting beaten like crazy by your mother, I could hear your voice saying, Here she goes again. Listen here, Madison. You can't be calling another person's parents crazy. You're the crazy one. Th that woman raised me. What? You're defending your mother right now? A normal person could easily tell that the one who struck a person would be in the wrong. Does your family not have that kind of common sense? Cut it out. You're being extremely rude right now. I'm the man you're marrying. You have no right to be talking to your future husband like this. Are you serious right now? I surely hope that you're not expecting to have the man in charge mindset once we get married. Man in charge. I have no reason to be like that. A wife's job is to support her husband. That's normal. You're of course going to always be behind me, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you going on about? Where is this old-fashioned mindset coming from? This is the modern world where men and women are on equal footing. I didn't know people with that mindset still existed. Doesn't matter what era we're in. The power dynamic of men and women hasn't changed. Are you saying that a woman has the strength to protect a man? Don't be ridiculous. Women are the ones that need to be protected. And in return, the women can comfort the men. Protect? What are men protecting women from in this day and age? I have no intentions of quitting my job. You know that, right? We're both going to be working, so that means we're on equal footing. What are you talking about? Of course we're both going to work. That's normal. There's no way I would pick a woman who thinks that she can provide for her man alone. Hang on, what do you mean? The first portion of what you were saying makes sense, but... You still expect the woman to have to care for the man along with all of that? I don't think I get what you're saying. Of course I expect that. What, are you still out of it from those hits? A woman can't survive without being married, right? Love is like a life goal, isn't it? A man isn't like that, though. What are you going on about? That isn't true. Well, you say that, but you're already at a pretty old age now. You said that you dream of getting married and having a nice, happy family. I'm granting you that wish, aren't I? So now you're showing your real personality. Real personality? It's only just because we haven't had conversations like this before. Oh, speaking of conversations we never had. I don't think I like where this is going. It's not anything bad. It's just about how once we get married and start living together, Mom wants to live with us as well. What? Did you enter your head as well? What are you talking about? Not anything bad. That lady punched me five consecutive times. What do you think would happen if we start living under the same roof? Hey, watch your mouth. This is your future mother-in-law. I admit that today wasn't ideal, but that's just because she was a bit angry. Anybody else would call that being psychotic. Any person who gets mad would try to rationalize and not let their anger take over to beat another person up. What'd you say? This is exactly the reason, the exact reason why Mama doesn't even like you. Wait, Mama? Did you just say Mama? Force of habit, I always refer to her as Mama. But I am aware of how that seems outside, so I do try to avoid referring to her as that around others. Oh, really? I'm starting to get used to these revelations. Anyways, Mama was just unhappy that you were stealing me from her. So it's not a big deal. Once she calms down, she'll be a lot nicer. Just give her some time. Calm down? 
Do you mean I'm going to have to deal with being her punching bag until she calms down? I'll pass. Don't be like that. Here, I'll apologize for today. I'll also talk to Mama for you as well. So let's just brush all of this under the rug, okay? You have no right to be saying that. Why are you acting all high and mighty in this situation? I feel no vibes of you wanting my forgiveness. Well, duh. You're the one who should be asking for forgiveness. You get punched a few times and now you change your mind? You have to convince Mama to let us get married. Huh? Is there anything in your head? I have no reason to ask for forgiveness. Goodbye. You're such a pushover. Well, anyway, make sure to keep an ice pack on your head. I'll, I'll give you some time to cool off. No thanks. I have nothing further to discuss with you. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. Mrs. Trent's mother, Nancy, I hear that you're quite the pushover. Huh? Is there something you need? Contacting me all of a sudden. Did you ask for my contact info from Trent? My, you're quite the rude one, aren't you? You're the one who randomly decided to make your living room a boxing ring. And yet you have the nerve to talk to me about my manners? You're exactly the kind of person I thought you would be. A selfish, hard-headed, and ridiculously proud woman. Is that so? So then, you don't need to be talking with me any longer if that's the case. We both don't get out of continuing this conversation. That! Exactly that! How dare you treat your superior like that? My superior? Where is the superior you talk about? Oh, you mean my elder. Well, that I could understand. You're treating your future-in-law like this. This isn't a good look. I can read other people's auras, that's how I knew. Your aura is pitch black. You aren't fit for my son. Oh my, there's so much I could say, where should I start? Well, if my aura that you can somehow see is pitch black, then that means yours is whatever a black hole is. I have no time to deal with this stupid conversation. If you have something you need to say, hurry up and spill it. You don't want to live in the same house as me? That's right. Why would I want to live with a criminal? Criminal? Who are you talking about? Of course it's you. Who else would it be? Huh. What did I do? Calling someone a criminal. Why did Trent choose a girl like you? You suddenly punched me five times. I'm going to file a report on this. File a report? You're being overdramatic. I only punched you and you're making such a fuss over it. You still haven't apologized for it. The least you could do is say that you're sorry for punching me. Huh? Why do I need to apologize? You're the one who's trying to marry my son. Which means that you're trying to steal him from me. I have never once said that I had any intentions of that. Anyways, rest assured, I'm not marrying your son anymore. Wait, really? Yes, really. Good for you. You can keep your son. Forever. I'm going to double check this with my son. But this means that you're leaving the house to him, right? In what world would that happen? That house is signed under my name and bought with my money. Which means that everything there is mine. What? Then where are we going to live? How in the world should I know? You guys can just keep living in the apartment of yours. What'd you say? This is all too different from what I've heard. I'm going to check with my son. This is different from what I've heard as well. But do whatever you want. Hey, pick up your phone! I heard from mom. Just stop being so petty canceling our engagement over something so minor. I'm not the petty one in this conversation. Did I say goodbye to you? I'd figured that I had given the message that we were through. What are you talking about? It's just a tiny spat between partners. Don't throw the entire relationship away for something like that. We're in the process of getting our marriage license. I canceled that. I'm not spending my life with a criminal and her son. 
I heard about the whole criminal thing as well. Mama just punched you, that's it. There's no reason for you to be calling her a criminal over something like that. So petty. You guys are both messed up in the head. You just got mad over the fact that Mama didn't approve of our marriage. Well, good news! She calmed down and gave her approval. Why would I be happy over this? Who would marry someone like you? I already said this. I canceled the marriage license and am filing a report of your mother. What? You're joking, right? I mean, we're trying to buy a house. We're? I'm the one who is paying for it. I'm using my money to buy the house and said that I would allow you to live there with me. What are you doing acting like it's yours? It's what we planned on though, right? Just because you fought with mom doesn't mean that you need to be doing all this. You just want to be spoiled since that's how you grew up. The moment we agreed on getting married, you decided to show off your borderline incestuous relationship with your mother and expect everything to be okay. You're just a bum. A bum? I, I work though. Yeah, we both work, but my wage is far more than yours. It's why I'm the one who always pays more than you do. You pretend to be a gentleman paying for our meals at restaurants, and yet I'm always the one handing you the cash to pay before we go in. A, a man wants to show off at those times. What's up with you? You haven't complained about these things before. That's because I still thought that you were a decent person back then. The moment your mama comes into the picture, you start acting like a brat. This is normal for any married couple. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then sure, keep thinking about that. I'm gonna be submitting this file to the police now. Goodbye! Hang on, we're, we're family, right? Don't submit that report. I don't want to be part of a family with you and your criminal mother in it. But you said you wanted a family! You, you said you wanted to get married! If you end things now, nobody wants to be with you at your age. I'd rather be alone than be a family with you. You're a bum. Just because you're a male doesn't mean that you're any less of a bum. If you love each other that much, then maybe you should live with your mother for the rest of your life. Oh, but if I submit this report, then you'd lose your mother as well. Madison did submit the report on Nancy and she ended up getting charged with battery. With that and having to pay for Madison's medical bills, the two fell into despair. As for Madison, she became a writer and decided to make a novel loosely based on the events that happened. Her book caused major media attention. It's good for parents and their children to get along, but it's a problem when it gets to the point those two display. Don't ever come again, you b- Wow! What were you thinking hitting me with an ashtray? I could have died! It's self-defense! If an intruder comes into your house, isn't it common sense to defend yourself? I rang the doorbell and came in from the front door. You call that an intruder? You're the one that invited me in! What's with the attitude? Do you think you can talk back to me? Ugh, damn you're so grumpy. Are you enjoying your life? Of course! I've been working hard, unlike you, since I was young. So I am where I am today. I just asked you a question. Why are you bringing me up? Ugh, you're so weird. Like, are you okay? I'm worried about you more because I'm afraid that I hit you too hard that it made you even more stupid. You just proved that you're a criminal, you know. Then why don't you try and sue me? I have money, so there's no meaning though. <laughs> um, aren't you embarrassed to say things like this? Shh, up! Don't ever contact us again! Just remember that you are rock bottom, okay? You're a piece of sh- Mary, are you okay? Does it still hurt? Can't you drive? 
Are you seriously going to ask if I can drive after what happened? What the hell is wrong with your dad? Sorry, but he was like that since I was a kid. My mom was fed up with him, so they've been separated for a while. He has a lot of money and power, and also, my family are all bankers except for me, so it's hard to talk back. You knew he was crazy! I didn't expect him to punch you. I haven't met him for a while, and I thought he would be nicer now, but I guess not. Okay, and? And? I was hit in the face with an ashtray. I could have died. Are you not going to say anything? Oh, um, that really sucks. You're not going to apologize? Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. I didn't really expect him to do something like that. Even if I lived a serious life, I would have still gotten the same treatment. You can beat up my dad, because I'm tired of him too. If you hate him, why don't you do something? I'm not strong like you, Mary. You want me to protect you or something? Are you serious? I can't believe I got engaged to you. My life sucks. Everything is my fault, and I truly apologize. Well, not everything. I was the one that said I wanted to meet your parents. I'm going to your house again to sort out things, so can you please go home by yourself? What? Are you going to beat up my dad? Nice! Can I watch? Nope. Go the f home. How am I supposed to go home with no car? Can you at least drive me to the closest bus stop? Shut the f up. Sorry. Why are you roaming around the house? I told you to leave! I want to talk, so please open the door. Of course not! Don't disturb me because I'm busy sanitizing the house! Why do you hate me so much? You are from a poor family, didn't graduate from college, and aren't working a decent job, and you look cheap in general. Joe is a failure to our family, but I didn't expect him to get engaged to someone like you! I think we could get to know more about each other if we talk. Are you kidding me? I know that you will choose violence. Violence, huh? I don't think someone who hit a person with an ashtray should say that. Are you saying that I'm rock bottom? I didn't say a word about that. How can you act like you're smart when you're actually stupid? You're the one that's stupid. You just want our money, right? If you don't decline marrying Joe, I will hit you with the ashtray again, okay? Are you for real? I'm never gonna forgive you. What are you going to do? <laughs> I already hired a lawyer and I'm going to sue you about this, so you should be ready. Oh, and uh, I'm also going to file a police report. You shouldn't do that, because it's going to be a waste of money and time. I'm actually being nice here. Why would I not do it? My lawyer said that you're going to be charged with assault for causing bodily harm. What do you mean, your lawyer? He's a lawyer hired by the company that I own. What? Company? You're a CEO? Yeah. I run an online shopping site. I think you've seen my commercials on TV. I left my business card in your mailbox. Wait. It's a pretty big company. You're the CEO? Yep. We do business with your bank as well. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Didn't you say you were an office worker? Well, I'm on the computer all day. So... What should I do? I didn't know about this. Oh, I'll actually approve the marriage. So can you take down the police report? 
Nothing will change even if you try to negotiate something. What should I do? Seriously? Nothing. Just accept the fact that you're going to get sued. Please, I'll give you money! How much do you want? This is not a problem that can be solved with money. I took screenshots of the conversation, so I'm planning on showing this to the public. Wait! No! I don't think that anyone would want to use a bank with a worker like you. I'm going to cease all transactions and move our savings. No matter how hard you try, I will not change my mind. Don't act all that! I could say the exact same thing right back at you. Oh, I also need to add defamation. Hey, Joe! Can you do something about Mary? She's trying to sue me! Um, I don't think that she's going to change her mind, even if I talk to her. Are you thinking that this is not your problem? Our family is in big trouble! You are involved also because you are part of the family! You said I was a failure to the family this whole time, but then you decide to say I'm part of the family when you're in trouble? To be honest, I was really irritated by you, so I will not help you. Are you serious? Yeah, and also, I'm not a banker, so it doesn't matter if you get sued and get fired from the bank. We are a family! Are you being serious now? Don't talk about being a family when you hit your son's fiancé in the face with an ashtray! This is why mom was fed up with you! Please, help me! Deal with this by yourself, please. I will not help you. So good luck with everything. WAIT! I saw the news, Mr. Archer. I'm so happy that the media made this headline on the news. How was your job? Did everyone give you the cold shoulder? My life is ruined because of you! Don't even send me a chat, because I need to go to court soon! I heard that you were charged with other crimes, so your life must really suck right now. It does. My wife sent me divorce papers. The bank fired me and charged me for damage that I created, so I had to sell the house. Do you want me to feel bad for you or something? Sorry, but I don't feel sorry for you at all. I will charge you a good amount, so you must have no hope, but all this is your fault. STOP ACTING LIKE YOU WON! Well, I did! And I also have more money than you wish you had. Someday I'll get my revenge, so I will not give up! That's up to you, but you can't do anything because I still have all the evidence. So if you find a new place to work, I'll just upload all of it to that website. You will get backlash for the rest of your life, but you deserve this for what you've done to me. Oh! Looks like some of your family members got fired, too. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Are you having fun ruining someone and their family's life? Um, yeah. Also, what's with the attitude? Do you think you can talk back to me? I went to court against Mr. Archer, and of course I won. He was charged with other crimes and went from rich to poor and ended up being in debt. I was not surprised because he's the kind of person to hit someone with an ashtray. He has no money and no house now, and everyone is giving him the cold shoulder. He is now facing backlash and is known as a crackhead old fart. On the other hand, since Joe didn't help me and probably won't from now on, I've decided to keep my distance from him for a while. <laughs>